AAA is 2727 and today I'm doing another theory video on Ultron Vision. Today the theory is going to be that Ultron Vision is the strongest being in the MCU right now. Now Marvel has just released a new What If episode on if Ultron won. Now in the previous movie that features Ultron, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ultron lost to the Avengers. And in this What If episode, Ultron succeeds and beats the Avengers and also succeeds into transforming his body and going into another body, aka Vision's body that Vision is in right now. And Ultron kills the whole planet making peace. Now, after, after Ultron kills the whole planet, we see the mad titan himself, Thanos. Now, Ultron Vision, my theory is that he is the strongest being in the universe, in the MCU right now. And he might be the strongest being in the whole Marvel itself. So, Thanos, he is a mad titan. He wants to wipe out half the population. He is scared. He is feared around the whole universe. And then Ultron comes in like it's nothing. Just kills the whole planet. Thanos is supposed to be the the world's the world's um the world's strongest being. The world's strongest being in the MCU, making him the only one being able to wield the Infinity Stones. But Ultron snaps him in half, lasers him in half like it's nothing. That's overthrowing Ultron. I mean, that's overthrowing Thanos, making him already one of the strongest beings in the MCU right now. And Ultron also faces several other threats for him that is that has fought Thanos or that is um, way stronger than Thanos. Ultron has fought Captain Marvel. Ultron was letting Captain Marvel win half the time. And then as soon as Ultron had enough, he just snapped. He just, you know, used the Infinity Stones, just blew her up, including several other different worlds that no other being has ever done besides Thanos, who is close. And he also, Ultron, has also fought the Watcher. The Watcher is one of the most powerful beings in the world. He is a god. I don't know what the relationship between the Watcher and Kang, but I already have that in a previous video. So, the Ultron literally breaks into the Watcher's domain, breaking reality itself, which no other being has ever done besides the Watcher and Kang and maybe some Celestials. And Ultron... Literally beats the Watcher up. He beats him, not with ease, with a little bit of, you know, the Watcher pit brings a good fight, but Ultron just punches the Watcher through several different realities, one or two being the Star Wars reality, apparently. Then, this forces the Watcher to go seek help from the other one, from the only other one that has seen the Watcher, Doctor Strange Supreme. Now, in my previous video, link in the description, I'd say who would win either Ultron Vision or Doctor Strange Supreme. And I said Ultron Vision because Ultron can break through different realities and break into the Watcher's domain, whereas Doctor Strange Supreme could only see the Watcher making Ultron a more powerful being than Doctor Strange Supreme. Um, in this episode, we also see that Ultron eats a whole galaxy, eats a whole universe. Now, we can compare this to, apparently, by Stan Lee, Marvel's biggest, most strongest being in the whole Marvel. Marvel Comics, the MCU... He's not in the MCU yet, but he will be. And this is Galactus. Galactus is a being who devours worlds because he's hungry, you know? He has to survive. But 
this Ultron literally ate a whole universe, a whole galaxy, a whole multiverse. This is doubling Galactus's strength. This is probably tripling. This is this is way this is way more scary than Galactus. He is overthrowing Galactus by eating a whole universe, whereas Galactus, apparently the most powerful being by Stan Lee, only eats worlds, such as Earth, you know, Xandar, and whatever that shit. So, that is my theory today. I hope you guys enjoyed the theory. Let me know who you, can, who you think who can take Ultron on. He might take on some Celestials, but... I don't know. Come on.